Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm here to explain how to use calculator for uh, calculating sum and uh, sum of uh, square of uh, given data and how do you find the uh, coefficients a and b in uh, regression line and how do you find correlation coefficient as well through uh, simple scientific calculator okay so for that purpose obviously you need to have a scientific uh, calculator as well and the first step is you have to change the mode to the state mode you see that should be three and you would be uh, seeing that like uh, this thing is okay close that and then you'll be having stat here it means you are in statistics mode now okay so if you want to go for the data input how would you get data there so simply press this one and then you go for two okay so you go to two if uh, you have a worry in one type of data so uh, in this case you see you simply input the data let's suppose we have uh, 21 then we have uh, 32 we have uh, 35 let's suppose we have 54 we have 23 right so yeah you may have five okay there are six observation in this case we will be using this uh, later on you can find the number of observations as well if you increase these this data uh, you will be simply able to know how many observation do i have uh, okay so this is now already in in the memory so if i just want to do something with it the most simple thing is what if i want to find the sum of the data or if you want to change the data as well so simply press 2 again okay and then you go back to 3 if you want to sum of the data so you simply press 3 okay so in this case you see if you want to find summation x you simply press 2 it will give you sum of all the data which is 170 okay whereas if you want to find uh, sum of uh, x squared so in that case again you will go to 3 and that show you summation x square here so we'll just press 1 to get summation x square see that's summation x square now if you want to find uh, population variance from here directly you can do that by using this formula so we'll be dividing this by n so you can do that directly as well but it will be maybe changing something so it is uh, divided by 6 because n was 6 and then we have minus you can use brackets and uh, then you should go to shift move one and then with three we have summation x if you remember the formula and then dividing by six as well you see then you close the bracket and then we have square of this okay so it will give us the variance which is two to three point maybe eight nine that's the variance which you can find by using uh, that short formula which is uh, uh, you should remember that is summation x square divided by n minus summation x by n whole square right we we do have another for this is this is this formula used for uh, finding uh, variance of population data if you want to find variance of uh, sample data in that case you'll be dividing it by uh, n minus 1 mean to say you'll be dividing that by okay uh, by 5 instead of dividing by 6 okay so we can do many things with it as well if so you go back and then I press 1 if you want to go for the variations here you can simply press 4 and then you can find n as I said earlier is simply press 1 it will tell you how many observation you have entered so there were 6 so you'll be getting 6 there okay if you want to know about the mean of the data so again you press 1 you go to 4 and then you simply press 2 to get what to get x bar and then press equal that is 28.33 that's the mean of this data and uh, if you want to find uh, some more things as well if you want to find variance you simply go to this press 1 and uh, then you go to 4 right and then we have uh, this is this is a very this is a population standard deviation and this is a sample standard deviation and they'll be giving you different values because in this case it will be divided by what it will be divided by 
n n where is in this case it will be divided by s n minus one. So we'll be getting different values. So if we press three and I want to find variance because that's giving you standard deviation, and you must know that variance is the square of standard deviation. So I'll simply square this and then press equal to get two two three point eight nine, which is exactly the same what we had computed a bit earlier. Right? And uh, but if you find that the other variance there's a population a sample variance uh, which is sx so i'll be pressing 4 to get sx and then i will take square of it so we have this equal so we get 268.67 uh, which is obviously different from the other the, the previous value right because we are dividing in this case by 5 and uh, we are in population variance it was divided by 6 okay so what can we do more uh, by using uh, this data so if you go to six you will be seeing many things there as well see there are you, you can you can find minimum value of it you can find maximum value of it directly you can find its first quartile you can find this uh, uh, median you can find its third quartile by simply pressing one if i press one i'll be getting minimum value of the data which is five and if i press uh, if I press uh, uh, again that uh, 6 and then I go to 2 so it would give me max x so it will give me 54 that's the maximum value uh, we can still find the value of uh, first quartile as well again I'll go to 6 and then I'll be simply pressing 3 to get the first quartile which is uh, 21 and you can find similarly two which is the median so you can find the median as well which can be done uh, by this way again you press one and then you go to six and then you press four then you press equal to get 27.5 so median in this case is what that is 27.5 okay and uh, we can do many things uh, other than this as well if you go to type right so if you go press one it will be asking what you may go for the linear regression you may go for the quadratic regression you may go for log of x you want to find this log of x if you are finding geometric mean so in case of geometric mean what would happen you will take log of all the data and then you take summation of that data as well so you can find log of x as well there and you can find reciprocal if you want to find harmonic mean of the data so you can simply take reciprocal of the complete data as well these are exponential these are something as th these things are used obviously but at the moment we are talking about this too so if i press two uh, it will be obviously giving the option where you want to clear the memory because i would need x y both for regression line and correlation coefficient so i just uh, press equal to clear the memory and now i see i have x and y in previous case i had x only now i have x and y both so let me give some values that's through four and then enter six enter eight and then we have five and then we have three again let's say we can have repeated values as well and maybe eight maybe And then you will be obviously uh, giving values of y as well. Where am I now? Am I at the top? Oh, okay. So I may give this value, of, uh, let's suppose 7, then I give it uh, 9, I give this 13, I may give this 19. Okay, I can give only 7 values in this case, right? I can give 13, I may give for 6, that is, let's suppose it is uh, 18 and we may give for 9 that may be 34 right so we have only these values now now if you go to this uh, you see now you'll be having a reg as well reg that's the regression okay you can have min max as well if you press 6 so you can find minimum of x you can find a maximum of x you can find min of y you can find max of y whichever you you want to find okay otherwise if you go to five that will give you what that will give you we may go to three as well to to find you see if you need summation x square you need summation x you need summation y square you need summation x y you need summation x y you need summation x cube 
we need all these summations as well if you, you, you if you know the formula so we need these things as well so you can go that you see if you give two types of data what happens it's asking it is giving you different type of uh, summation okay so you can find summation x y from here as well and uh, if you go to five you are asking about the coefficients so regression and a and b as well so you can simply press one it will give you a okay so that is uh, equal see that's the value of a and uh, next is what that if you go back you can find the value of r as well you just press 5 to get the regression line if you put 3 you press 3 you'll be getting what the value of correlation coefficient which is 0 0.6201 it's obviously a weak relation here and uh, then we press it again and you can go for again 5 to find the b as well so it is b which is something like 2.458 okay and and so on you can do many things with it as well you can simply uh, write here is a plus bx okay i may go one and i say i'm in five so i type one and then i take plus and i go to that thing again so let's suppose if i go to one again and i want to have b as well so let me try that i have tried this before so if i could do it it's b and then i take multiplied by and then i'll be simply taking the product with x because we know that it's a plus bx and then let's see what is going on it might be something extra for us so it is uh, uh no i may go to data because i would need uh, y x there so can i have x from here So I may go back and I if I go to this again and I take one of it and I simply say uh, simply take two then we have x and y. Anyway you can do that as well, you can simply use this value if uh, if it's Can we take x from here? Can we take x from here? Mm, I don't know because it's not defined here. Okay, anyway, that's the way to do it, and uh, I hope it's clear to everybody. The simple calculation you can do that, and uh, thank you very much, and see you again with some other videos.